Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. You are looking with me on 2006 Nissan Frontier, which suffered with that famous radiator fail and that started mixing the coolant and automatic transmission fluid. And you can see some of that stuff in the different videos on this channel. And as you can guess, one of the problems after that happens will be automatic transmission. The contamination of the tranny was minimal so we did multiple flushes but unfortunately it keeps coming back with one single code P1754. So let me show you first right, how looks the tranny when you remove the engine oil pan and entire valve body. So that's cool, and where is the valve body, right? So it's right here on this table, and it's already missing the solenoids and the TCM. In this year, the transmission control module, or simply say computer, is part of the body and it's submersed inside of the transmission. Well, where is the TCM? Right here, it's on another working station you can see in detail right the TCM many times these contacts which I'm showing you right now they fail they crack and it will be sending that code right non-stop because there will be intermittent problem intermittent contact and it will be coming back to that one solenoid unfortunately because that is easy fix, right? You can resolder that. Unfortunately, all the contacts here, these circuits are okay. And maybe the problem is with the solenoid. Okay, where are the solenoids? They were removed, right? As I said. And here you say them. You see them in the order as they were in that valve body. I tested all of them first you test the resistance the impedance so that was all done and then i tested them with the battery right applying 12 volts i tested them if they are clicking correctly on and off on and off and all of them are working right so now it comes back to the question where is the problem why that one code keep appearing again and again right it can be in this control module obviously i will still be removing these two and looking underneath if there is not any debris on the contacts here you can see these two covers removed they slide this way right towards to each other so you have to careful move them to get them off and you can definitely see with me bunch of contamination right and that could all of us of course it's collecting underneath those covers and that could theoretically cause misfiring right a bad connection or some electrical shorts on this board on this computer and it can it could cause right because it's collected there and it can flow it could cause that code and of course all of this will need to be clean with that electric cleaner spray right you don't want to use brake cleaner or some degreases and and so on this is electronic part so you need to use the proper cleaning solvent this is the product i like to use for these tasks so i went ahead used that spray and clean this entire unit that plastic i cleaned all the solenoids and i kept looking where else could be the problem and this case perfectly shows how the patience is really important when you do any troubleshooting or repairs on the automatic transmission. It's known, all of us, we know, you have to be patient. 
these things you have to treat them carefully not to break anything and keep looking what would be the problem and not only patient you also have to be gentle with these parts right so I was using very carefully this pick right I was touching all these contacts this is where they break right right here in this line I briefly touched those pressure switches but everything looked okay right but look in the detail with me and I will show you the detail of it look what I discovered after it was clean right after all that was done let me show you so I kept carefully lifting these circuits let me zoom a little bit closer you can see the detail better I will move it right here so I'm carefully again after the cleaning touching everything and making sure the contacts are not touching here they are right not loose or broken this is fine and I'm checking those pressure switches right so they are attached to this wiring part and look what I finally finally I discovered look right here you see the detail let me zoom the camera even close and show you so once again let's observe it from a different angle extremely carefully right I'm confirming that all the circuits around here are okay and you can see when I carefully pull on that circuit board it lifts those pressure switches up but look what finally came this is the broken one right so that is disconnected that's why we are getting a code there is absolute not connection to this part it broke right here right hopefully you can see it the question is if that can be soldered back that will be very interesting because there's basically almost nothing coming out and guess what if you look in the manual this is the confirmation of the code because this is the input solenoid pressure switch and once again another close-up you hopefully can see on top of it towards to you this is where that circuit that part broke off it's right here where my thumb is and this is where the problem lies and again if you consult the repair manual for this transmission this pressure switch malfunction right an input solenoid pressure switch malfunction if it detects any problem inputs the transmission in the fail safe mode or the limp mode as we say right and that's exactly what was triggering that code it was just one code right it wasn't like a bunch of codes that will mean the whole tranny is gone but it was specifically coming back again again to this part now this area is so tiny that I'm not sure if I can solder it the problem is if I can't then the options are very interesting right this whole unit the cheapest unit goes like $700 from the aftermarket parts stores I believe it was O'Reilly I checked the computer the, the dealer doesn't sell computer or the solenoid or the valve body itself they sell the whole unit right that's a fifteen hundred dollars and it needs to be reprogrammed because the computer has to be reprogrammed after being installed so you need to bring it to the dealer so ideal of course will be if I can connect back these two parts and make it working again 
and I will try that and if I succeed I will show you the result. By some God's mercy I was able actually to solder those two parts together. There was like a minimum or absolutely minimum area to grab on but as you can see it's up in the air right let me flip it for you all right it's holding it's there so i will start installing it back of course this is something you have no idea when this solder this connection will give up this is something what i'm trying to save to the owner fifteen hundred dollars in the part from the dealer and towing the vehicle to the dealer and reprogramming so at the end it will be probably 1700 bucks you can see in detail I cleaned everything right these are the covers how they belong in this area there was that silicone used to stop the possible dirt right getting on these contacts so definitely I should be using the caulk right now what I will do and caulk this area to stop the contamination coming in you can see it in the detail right now hopefully right these new covers needs to be caulk around here as I mentioned before I'm Toyota Tech and we are using so-called FIPG, right? Anything where you need the perfect resistance from the oil. This is Toyota Seal Packing 103 FIPG. Extremely great product. I have experience with that. So I'm just sealing this area on both sides, right? to prevent the contamination getting on those contacts the way it was when I was taking it apart after the dries for a little bit I will start snapping this cover back on this computer body you can see here that cover back right I would love to film for you every single step but it's impossible I'm in the time crunch you can see nicely that the entire unit with computer back on the valve body it's time for the solenoids of course you keep them exactly the way they were right it all matters however I have a little trick I will share with you here and the trick is I had possibly problem with the five right which is this one right so there are three identical like this so I will switch them and if the solenoid was bad despite the fact we found a problem I will know because the code will move to the number three from the number five but I tested them, I tested them for the resistance and I tested them for their correct function right, excuse me, if they are clicking correctly and they all tested perfect so they should be okay and the code should be gone and this should be successful repair obviously ideally you don't want to reuse these solenoids right, you want to put a brand new ones problem is that's a five to six hundred dollars so that's expensive and we are trying here to save this transmission the way it is all solenoids are in the place so I need to install the securing bolts of course I still have all these connectors to hook right here so just carefully observe what is what nice click take your time don't rush there's no time for rushing these things 
everything has to be perfect this was underneath it right the gray connector goes right here again double click both sides put this cover over it all right when you are putting valve body back in the vehicle in the transmission make sure this park neutral drive right this lever shift lever here is aligned correctly you don't want to misalign it and then redoing that entire job and i put everything together right i had no time to film it for you but everything is back there's no check engine light i already performed multiple test drives right for perfect adjusting the transmission fluid level which if you really want to be honest and make it perfect it needs few definitely tries and so far it's perfect there are no pending codes there's nothing like that happening so of course we don't know none of us know how that solder how long it can last it can break in one week and it can last years but anyway that was idea for you guys who are dealing with the same problem with this famous transmission from nissan thank you for watching and be subscribed i have way more coming your way soon see you later my friend